Now we've been working pretty hard and after about a week of working on the treadmill and getting used to the routine of the treadmill, we're finally able to start getting Roxy into a tired state of mind, meaning getting into the panting state and, and showing signs of tiredness. She's got a seemingly unlimited amount of energy that's been troubling the owners and getting her in trouble with aggressive outbursts. So we're going to take a look at the very first time we're actually getting to see a tired state in rock. Kind of throwing her off a little bit by being here with the camera, but she'll get used to us in just a minute. You notice that she's carrying a pack because the German Pinscher is a working dog. And some dogs in the German Pinscher category, some particular breeds in the category, some particular temperaments, may require up to a couple of hours of work per day. Stay. crazy bug eyes over here at Phoebe, we disagree with you. Hey. You see? She acknowledges looking away. She has to learn to be in a more relaxed state around Phoebe and other dogs. And after they've had a lot of exercise today, been on the treadmill, for their leadership walks. Now they're getting to experience some time unmuzzled, unleashed, under the complete control of the pack leaders, the humans in the house. And whenever Roxy even looks at Phoebe in a way that we don't agree with, we immediately correct it so that it doesn't get a chance to get to the point of the crazy fights and fur flying. We get a chance to stop it before it ever happens. See from the tail, 
Phoebe realizes that we have this under control. You can see that even though she's a little distracted by stuff happening behind me here, she's in a relaxed state. Her ears are back. And over here, just a few feet away, we have Roxy, whose ears have come back just a little bit. And in a matter of a few minutes, she's actually going to lay on down. Phoebe just put her head down here. And as this one calms down more, this one will be able to calm down more. Notice the ears have come on back. Hey! You saw the bug-eyed stare that she gives. We give a correction immediately as soon as she gives that stare. She has to learn to ignore rather than fight. Once again, when both of these girls arrived, <coughs> they both had muzzles and they couldn't occupy the same space at the same time without a leash or muzzles. Now we're going to keep rolling because in just a few minutes we should see Roxy come on down a little bit. You see the ears are settling back. She's got to process. It's okay to be in a relaxed mode around this girl. This big girl is not the aggressor, but I can assure you, when Roxy comes at her with teeth flying, she definitely defends herself. Can you blame her? Now she's observing Phoebe in a more relaxed state. We don't want her staring too intently. You know, when somebody's staring at the back of your head, you can feel it. And, and that makes poor Phoebe uncomfortable. I, I, can, I can definitely understand. She's on down a little more. She just scooted her behind on back a little bit in just another minute or two. You're going to see her go ahead and lay on down. She's still processing this whole being able to relax in the same room. Roxy's learning to lay on down and relax a whole lot faster than she used to. She would just sit there, just non-stop in a sit position. Uh, she's learned to relax a whole lot more. Sometimes she's even closing her eyes when she sleeps now.
14 minutes after Phoebe was brought in. You can see the ears are a little bit more relaxed now. Now, if we weren't here, I can pretty much assure you right now that Roxy would get up and come over here and start some problems with Phoebe. The discipline that she's having to learn is to follow the rules. We don't stare intently at people or other dogs. In fact, I would rather do this ignoring thing if this is what helps her relax. Out of the four modes we have in a dog, fight and flight, avoid and submit, we would rather her be avoiding staring at her pack mate here. And ideally, she'll learn to submit as a part of the pack. But for now, we're going to check out, guys. This is Roxy and Phoebe here at Camp Dog Trouble. In-stay boarding rehabilitation program for extreme dog behavior problems. And like I said, when these guys checked in... They were both muzzled, and they couldn't be in the same room with one another without a leash or a muzzle. Slowly but surely, they're coming around. If you're having some extreme dog behavior problems of your, of your own, make sure you go check out www.dogtrouble.net. This is Jason. Give us a call at 864-248-6472. Share our videos on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you subscribe now. Take it easy.